In this video, I'm going to be drawing an isometric map of Dragon Town, which is the setting for my new RPG zine called Dragon Town. <laughs> All right, let's do this. So a few months ago, I made this map a top-down version of Dragon Town. My original plan was to use that for the zine, but I thought it would be cooler to give the town a little bit more flavor, a little bit more character, if I made an isometric map instead. So what do I mean by that? Well, a top-down view of a building looks like this, and an isometric perspective of a building looks like this. So that's what I'm doing. I'm redrawing Dragon Town in an isometric perspective, and I'm bringing you along with me on the process so we can figure this out together. Okay, so the very first thing I do, regardless of what kind of map I'm drawing, is I always make a list of the important places in town, whether that's particular buildings or geographic locations. I just like to have an idea of all the places that must be drawn on this map. The next thing I do, just to get sort of comfortable with how I want to draw the map, is I just do some sketches of some buildings and maybe some trees and roads. Anything that I'm not quite sure how I'm going to draw on the map, I just spend a little bit of time on a scrap sheet of paper to figure it out so I'm more confident when I go into the next step. So now I'm jumping into Photoshop. I have a template of my zine kind of figured out because I am going to have to reformat this map a little bit just to make it look good spread across two pages of this booklet. I should say that even though I'm working on the computer in Photoshop, all of this stuff applies to using pencil and paper. And in fact, you should think of this part as my penciling phase. So right now I'm just figuring out what the town looks like. I'm, I'm planning it out. I'm, I'm putting the important buildings down, filling in where the roads go and the major geographical locations like the river and the hill that the dragon's castle is on. I always find that it's easiest to start with the roads and kind of fill in the buildings around that. Really, this is the planning phase, so you should just plan your your town however you think is easiest. The other thing I should say is that I'm just drawing cubes. I'm, I'm like literally blocking in the building. So I'm not drawing each and every building. I'm just drawing these cubes in the isometric perspective to sort of plan out where they go. And I'll get into all the details of what the buildings look like later. If you're used to watching these videos of me making stuff, you know that usually I'm much more planned out than this. So if it makes you more comfortable to take this penciling stage uh, a step further and really plan things out, 100% go for it. So let's take a quick break from the computer and I'm gonna show you my trick to drawing isometric buildings. So I've put together this isometric grid. The first link down in the description will take you to a PDF that you can use, print out yourself, and draw right on top of. So even though I'm not using this template in my drawing, it's a great way to practice drawing isometric buildings. If you just print out one of these templates and fill a page with buildings, you'll be a pro at drawing stuff in this isometric perspective. Okay, so let me show you how I think about it. Okay, so I'm gonna use this pink pin as my pencil and then I'll go over top of it with a black pin. So you can kind of see my process of figuring out the structure to going into a finished looking building. So I start with the foundation of the building and the guides on this isometric map, you can just follow them and kind of fill in what would be the floor of your building. And then the cool thing about isometric maps is any vertical lines, all you have to do is draw them straight up. So the walls of the building, the lines just go straight up wherever the corners of the foundation meet. And then you can draw the top of your box and kind of make a roof on top of that. You know, if it's a pitched roof like this, you just make a little triangle on top and connect all of the lines. Once you have the structure down, then you can go back over top with your pin and finish out the details. The cool thing about buildings is the doors and windows, the lines follow the grid as well. So the vertical lines of a door frame go straight up and then the horizontal lines like the top and the bottom of the door are going to follow the grid in whichever way you have them pointing. So you can totally use this template to add roads and 
plan out more houses, build your entire town off of this isometric grid. Now, as you can see here, keeping everything real tight to the grid kind of reminds me of like a, an old school video game map, which is not a bad thing. And doing this little drawing kind of makes me want to make a whole video game style map like this. But let me show you another trick to making a more organic looking map. So like I did back in the planning phase, if you start with your roads and have them curve and bend and wind around. You can use the direction of the road to sort of line up the front of your building. Same thing, just drawing the foundations based on this grid, but I'm sort of turning and bending them to match the curve of the road. Just by making your road not follow the grid and then planning your buildings off of that, you can make your map look way less like it's on a rigid grid like this. Okay, so now it's time to jump back into Photoshop, get back into drawing this Dragon Town map. Even though I am drawing this on the computer, I am absolutely using the same process I would as if I was drawing it on paper. So that whole planning stage is like my pencils. I've actually reduce the opacity of that layer so it's a, a light gray and then I've made a new layer on top that I'm going to ink it with and now that it's all planned out it's just a matter of me zooming in and figuring out all the details of each little piece and part of the map. But yeah, my goal with this map, since it's the first two pages of the zine, is to really give a feel for this town that you're gonna be adventuring in. And so the fun part about making a map like this is getting into the little details and the little special things that makes this town look and feel unique. So while I get into all the details of this map, I wanna talk a little bit about the state of the Dragon Town zine and how my work on it is going. So I've completed the outline, I have the general story, all of the quests and places and major NPCs figured out, even though I haven't named any of it yet. So like, I still need to figure out what the castle's called, what the dragon's called, what the, the mill and the bakery and the river and all the stuff still needs names. <laughs> and really that just means that the next big step for me is writing, writing like, crazy. Then after I have everything written and nailed down, then I'll get to move on to figuring out the layout and the sort of visual design of the book. I have some fun, simple ideas that I'm really excited to share with you about all that stuff. And then after that, the only real thing left is to fill out the book with illustrations. So of course I want this zine to be packed full of drawings because I think that is the quickest, easiest way for someone to get a feel for the type of adventure this is. And that's it, I'm wrapping up the map of Dragon Town. I'm not totally finished with it because I think it needs a, a layer of gray tone or, or some sort of texture or something to help some of these buildings and places pop off the map. And actually now that I think about it, I'm gonna have to go back and label a lot of this stuff too. So everything that I don't have names for is gonna need to be labeled. I wanna have all that information right on the map. So it's super useful and easy to use. So yeah, you get the idea of what the map is gonna look like even though it's not in its totally finished form. All right, if you've made it this far in the video, thank you so much for sticking with me. I hope this has been informative. I hope it gives you a little bit of confidence to try drawing your own isometric map. I'm very excited with how this map turned out. I'm very excited with the direction that this Dragon Town is going in. And I can't wait to share more of that stuff with you. Hit me with the subscribe and ring the notification bell if you wanna be alerted to when new videos about Dragon Town go up. I got a ton of cool stuff planned. Can't wait, I can't wait. Let me know what you think of this map down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. See ya.